Hi, I'm Margaret at Miller Guide, and today I'm going to talk specifically about all the different variations you can do within your balance poses just by tweaking your foot positions. So we're going to start from the very basic foundational um, balance pose of two feet hip width apart. Feet are parallel to one another, meaning that if you're following a straight line, your toes, your heels are equidistant apart. And so that's a really good, you know, foundational pose. It's a good foundational pose for any of your um, exercises, whether it's a bicep curl or an overhead press or um, getting up and down from a chair. So it's function. Now, as we want to progress balance, we want to challenge our base of support. So we start with keeping our feet parallel to one another and gradually bringing them closer together. So I could bring toes and heels. And so I could, you know, the next day practice with everything just a centimeter closer. And then I continue. Toes and heels. When making the micro changes, I demonstrate both feet moving. However, you might decide that you feel a lot more stable just starting with one foot at a time. So you might just shift the right foot, toe heel, try your balance pose again. And if you feel you need another challenge, then shift the left foot, coming in a bit closer. So I do encourage you to always have it straight, not pigeon-toed or out plate-footed. Um, but gradually again, you know, day by day or week by week, depending on how frequently you work on your balance, depending on other factors in your lower body strength and flexibility, um, until you can bring your feet Bring your feet as absolutely close together as your anatomy allows. Calf size, hip shape, toes, you know, all of that. So working your balance with a very narrow base, still with feet parallel to one another. From this parallel position, then you want to start working towards a staggered stance. So I'm going to bring my feet back to a comfortable distance apart, a staggered stance simply means I'm taking a step. So now my feet are in a staggered position. From the staggered position, this is my gait. This is where I take my next step. So I want to make sure that I'm comfortable and stable here. This is all the drills that we do with, you know, forward and back from here. Now, as this gets comfortable, once again, you want to start narrowing your base of support. So I might bring the front heel, then toe in, heel, then toe in, and until gradually they're getting closer and closer. And I might not feel comfortable yet being on a line, so I might then start to slide that front foot back ever so slightly and back some more. And I find with most of my clients that I can get them to the position where their heel is just about in line on the same plane as their big toe before they want to come or feel comfortable coming in onto the line where heel and toe are in a straight line. The straight line position with heel touching, just grazing the toe of the back foot is referred to as a tandem position. And so that tandem position is quite challenging and often used in balance testing. And so this is a really good objective to reach before you start progressing to standing on one foot. Now this is all on a fairly stable surface. We haven't talked about changing the surfaces yet. So when you are still just working with a, a basic surface, whether it's um, your kitchen floor, your bathroom, tiles, hardwood, those are your firm surfaces. When you get to a softer surface, that changes everything a little bit more. Now, single leg, before going just on one foot, you want to start with toe touch. If you find that toe touch is uncomfortable in terms of your big toe, a lot of people have arthritis of the big toe, they might find um, it more comfortable having the foot on a half foam. And what that allows you to do, I'm just going to place this behind me, is it allows your big toe to be 
off the edge. So you're still, you know, toe touch or foot touch, but without a lot of bending at the big toe. So, I, you know, people say, oh, I can't do that one because I always find a way to make them do their progression. All the while, you're always looking to keep the pelvis nice and level. Now, from here, you start to progress to single leg, single leg in different positions. And at that point, this point, you know, when you've progressed through the single leg routine, that's a nice time to start changing the surface that you're standing on and going all the way back through everything where, so here as an example, I have a yoga mat. You might only start with two folds of the yoga mat. Um, I have about eight folds of this yoga mat. You might go through the entire sequence standing on the mat, just as we started with parallel stance. When you go into the staggered stance, you might start with just one foot either the front foot or the back foot on an unstable surface because that just amazingly enough changes and makes the exercise all exciting again. And so you can go through the whole sequence of what we worked on where you were feeling really confident and now with either your front foot or your back foot on an unstable surface, it just brings you know back life into, into your whole routine. And then, you know, by all means, you can have both feet on that soft surface. And so if I take it into, you know, this position here, where both are on, you know, one layer, two layers, four layers, eight layers of yoga mat, and then again, you're progressing all the way through. Now, these are, you know, really quite inexpensive. Most people have a yoga mat at home or you can get one, you know, on sale somewhere. And then half foams are also a really nice tool to have and allow you to progress um, through your balance poses. So you'll see these used in the athletic level of um, the exercise for better bones where, you know, at this point, um, and sometimes at home, actually, um, I have a um, half bone, but I've cut in two so that I can still have a staggered stance position or a parallel stance and use them in that way. Otherwise, if you just have your full foam, then you're limited to your tandem stance position, um, which might be, you know, more advanced than, than you're ready for. Now, you can use your foam um, with the round side up, which is actually, I find it a little bit more challenging than having it the opposite way. And all depending on your foam, and you can do it where you're doing um, your, because your foot is now flatter, your tandem stance, and this is a fairly new foam, so it um, hasn't been flattened out at all by me or any of my clients. And so it's a really nice challenge you know, with that rocking from side to side, or you can actually stand all the way, the opposite way with it, um, and getting that forward and back uh, challenge, which you would get um, in a more expensive rocker board, but it allows you to work through it on something um, that's inexpensive and that you can use for a number of other things like um, really nice calf stretches, those kind of things that we cover in some of the um, the ankle mobilization series. So I think that kind of covers it. Um, I've probably missed some things, but you can take the, the concept and go with it. And um, I hope you have a lot of fun and, you know, feel the strength and um, stability that improving your balance provides. Thanks for tuning in.